Hello there YouTube, Toran Han here, and I'm showing another game. This is with my uh, brothers, uh, Angaldan, Kevin Belly, but also my middle brother friend, uh, Salfadin, Salad and Beans. So um, we weren't able to record last time, but this is the first of our wins together, because last time we actually lost. So the strategy we're trying to pull off here, I think I am... Um, I am Abbasids, yes, I am Abbasids. Uh, my brother switched, uh, Uncle Dan is still Holy Roman Empire, that's my youngest brother. But my middle brother switched from English, he usually played English, now he's French. He was trying f uh, out French. So our idea is, the strategy is um, to kind of, uh, uh, for his friend Salad and Beans, uh, or yellow English, to support with Longbowmen. Uh, then he goes with uh, uh, with, with green uh, uh, French. Uh, he goes with uh, knights. So then, uh, if if they counter spike uh, uh, with, with spearmen, hopefully the long woman will deal with it. And um, I support. My whole only job is to get um, at least around ten spearmen out from two barracks and get at least two to four uh, rams. So we can uh, uh, maybe speed this up. Until that happens, so it's basically a timing attack. Um, but they'll, you'll see the hilarity that it it, it sort of works, but it sort of uh, is all over the place as well. So this is my brother here, uh, my middle brother. This is uh, uh, his friend, uh, 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 Saladin, uh, Saladin Beans. This is me here, and that's my youngest brother, uh, Daniel down here. Uh, he's a blue Holy Roman Empire. So now we can kind of skip here. Uh, in terms of build order, I, I usually go six. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, six lumberjacks. I do build the first house pretty early, and I, I was really lucky with the placement of this. So I just used one mining camp to kind of get from both. There's a little distance here, but it, it, it doesn't warrant another one. Uh, or maybe it does, but here I go. I should go for forestry pretty quickly. Uh, and here a little, a little bit of a mess up. These five to the gun here, but I wasn't controlling them. I was trying to control, I think, uh, this scout here, trying to scout all around. Um, another thing which I keep learning a lot of games, to kind of uh, send the scout as early as possible toward the middle, because the middle has most of the sheep and other such resources. Um, we can go even faster here. Um, but here, what, what you can see, he did scout uh, this guy, uh, Theo Nimzo Gambit, uh, Holy Roman Empire, and we early on, we don't even see the orange player yet. So we kind of uh, focused down on the first scout per person we had, but also uh, uh, Holy Roman Empire early on is, isn't as strong until they get to Castle Asia and they're then at arm spam or something like that. So, um, in terms of build order, um, four on gold, uh, about two to four. I kind of want more stone because I wanted, I needed more stone. I go uh, six, uh, I'm trying to build up to six uh, uh, berry people because I will actually uh, use these starting six uh, on sheep, once sheep are on, not almost, to forward build. Here's my brother uh, scouting. So so far we only scouted pink. Uh, that's Mickey Mouse uh, English and X H G N C X uh, another English. We actually don't see orange yet. And this is all great counting done by my uh, uh, by Get My Belly uh, for green uh, green French. Okay. This is a nice barracks, but uh, yeah, my um, youngest brother, he always um, um, uh, blue HRE. He likes to put forward barracks toward the middle to kind of try to force uh, presence in the middle. Here, I am chopping my protective forest, but I should have, in hindsight, chopped this or some safe forest down below. Uh, yeah, I I'm building houses here, but as you can see, um, I had to build this one and this one to connect to this, so that they're all yellow. Because uh, before I was not getting the benefit. See here, I have seven out of ten structures. I need three more to get the first uh, golden age, tier one golden age. 
Uh, and so what, what you see here, I pull people from berries to to sheep because sheep is faster gathering than berries. And then I'll put them on berries. But I basically take my first six people who are and I send them all the way to uh, start making barracks in my uh, in the base of my uh, getting my belly French knights, uh, um, no, green French, because I am planning to uh, uh, make to attack. And he already. Uh, uh, yellow uh, English uh, did a pretty good job. Uh, sound beans to already attack and get some village village kills. That's like two village kills I think already. Um, oh, he he's getting village kills from here as well. I kind of missed that. Um, there he's sending he's sending over there, but he we're forcing. But he he shouldn't have, uh, he would lose. I think only two would be left. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a mis mistake. You shouldn't go s under or so close to uh, English. Well, it's not English. It's Holy Roman Town Center, but still. Uh, so he just three. Three is enough. More uh, like this is a good amount to harass. But see, like he, he basically he only has two left. Then Pink tries to help. I'm just getting there. I'm not even. See, I'm a little. I should have been in this attack ideally. We can move by ten uh, spearmen. Then they could have dealt with this. So this is some um, uh, early aggression. N none of this, none of them are being attacked. Oh, what? The, the, the wolf was helping! But now the wolf is attacking, but uh... <laughs> oh snap, look at that wolf. Nature, nature, you're scary. Oh, that, that, that was pretty good on uh, micro. Having this guy to run away and the more HP person take take the damage. And again, oh no, he switched. Oh here he sent more. Where is he sending from? Is he just uh, queued them up? I am okay. I am starting. What do I see here? Uh, teal uh, Nimzo Gambit, who we're trying to attack. Teal. Uh, Cyan colored uh, HRE attacking with just three uh, three spearmen uh, to try to attack uh, deny the gold I think but I'm like nope 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 you're not gonna do that we're gonna attack you from behind they're stabbing you it's like uh, who's stabbing who it's like Uroboros snake eating its tail but uh okay so now I'm getting ready I put this defensive towers just so then they and I put these six guys to get stone, just so I can tower this place up. Um, here, it's interesting what's happening. Oh, there, oh uh, yeah, I, I was like, I got, look, look, look how many sheep I got. I got, got like nine sheep, almost ten sheep by being just in the middle here. And I think I get, I get back. I was afraid this guy will kill me, so then I can get back here. Since there's no sheep, oh, idle time. Uh, but here, okay, I'm already moving out. I have what? About about seven, like seven to ten uh, spearmen, and what what happens here? Oh, there's one <laughs> one of his is I, I noticed that actually uh, they pulled back. I thought they're still in the area, but I'm alone. And what I got scared here uh, is that I saw a man at arms uh, move. So if we go switch to Nimzo Gambit, he has a barracks here. Oh, he has a stable here. Oh, then he's trying to attack horse yeah. with a horseman. I killed this horseman, of course, it's pretty easy that. But because they have men at arms, early men at arms, English have, I thought these men at arms would really eat up my spearmen. Thankfully, uh, my brother, French, uh, Green French, came and just mopped them up. And just having enough bodies. Yeah, men at arms don't counter knights, not especially French knights. So, but at this point, they know something is up. Pink is not defended, Pink is sending his force. And I think purple eventually will too. But orange, orange walled off. But we don't even see orange's wall until way later. So orange just keep walling. He is um, French? Yeah, he's French. Uh, and here, my first ram is attacking. And I'm big on another ram. So that's my, my job. So the, the uh, job of the French player in this, play, in this, in this sort of timing attack is protect my rams. It's not to protect my spearmen. My spearmen are there. Uh, should be actually in the in the back line making more rams. That's my third ram, and I just continuously stream uh, 
from the front. It's not too far. Uh, maybe in the future I should have maybe even put closer in this hidden forest. That's uh, then I put and I sh uh, uh, I see that they have stable. Now like we need to deny them stable. And here these uh, seven. See you don't even have to have ten. Like uh, six, like five or well, seven is better. But uh, at least five uh, early attack early units. He has three knights. And here they're trying to uh, correctly. Uh, counter uh, the rams with spear with uh, scouts because scouts have pretty high fire damage, um, but it's just not enough. I have enough of a mass, and and here they go. The knights go after after the archers, and here from behind, uh, blue our comes and just messes up because the longbowmen they don't do much uh, damage against against uh, as against the men of arms. Then I pull my surviving spearmen back to keep making rams. Because at this one I have four, three, but I'm trying to get four. But orange player attacks me from behind here, and this longbowman, archer versus longbowman, longbowman should win. But with just a few five uh, spearmen, I pull all my spearmen just to tank, uh, kind of be here. Purple comes in, but all the pink's army is basically dead. There's only like two, three archers left. They destroy one of my rams, one of my three rams. Oh, actually, I didn't recognize. One of the rams had six spearmen in it. I'm like, where did my spearmen go? But see, we're uh, heavy aggression here. We have no aggression on the rest of the map. We're pouring in uh, a spearman of this red me. Uh, so they destroyed two, two of my three, but I have another one. And now I'm moving my bulk of my force to defend. These uh, French Royal Knights are great at chasing uh, uh, the archers. Uh, the town center is, I'm taking the town center fire from I will survive and actually I will probably not even know about these 16 uh, spearmen until the end of the game. But with just enough, like 7 spearmen, they can't take an early man. Uh, uh, like, that's just, uh, I got the numbers on my hand, on my side. Then I just start sieging. Because I have, yeah. Then I have the reinforcements keep building uh, rams outside. And there it goes, this, uh, this, this is the two. Surviving uh, knights, so let me see. Then he runs with his. Uh, how many villagers he has? He has 10 villagers. He built a main work palace. He has 7 villagers on stone. He is building barracks is here, and. Oh, that's when I think he leaves. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's white. He, he knows that I have two rams that are gonna destroy this. I have third ram coming in, I have more sp spearmen. And he's, he was switching to another person. He has four knights. That's a good number. Oh, they, they found out the, the purple uh, uh, longbowman. Yeah, uh, X, A, G, and X. So that was just an example of a timing attack at what minute? Around uh, less than 10, like 10, like 14, less than 15 minute mark. And now I'm just, I just keep making, uh, well, there's more researchers. I have 16. Uh, yeah, these are the same 10 that run away, but yeah, he knew that they're losing. Um, now, the, po the point at this time, in this juncture, is to keep the pressure up. Because, oh, he's fighting yes, against one Royal Knight, against the French Orange player. Yeah, I think he's gonna lose. He should pull back, because, yeah, this is. A bit too much to deal with. And then I come in and we kill this French Royal Knight very easily. Because I have feelings upgrade, I'm pretty sure. I think I can make battery, I can get a siege tower. And if I get to Castle I can make Springles and Mangonels. So we clean them, clean them up. Uh, pink is there too. So they basically we attack early enough, right before their boom, and forcing them to defend. And we att attack immediately for their farms. I, I noticed that they're uh, actually trading already, uh, at least one trader, so I'm like, no, 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 we got to stop that gold coming in, because um, Orange is trying to block off, a, yeah, he's still making walls, at this, yeah, at this time, um, uh, Mickey Mouse is gone, um, uh, so we, we continue on, so at this time, we don't even know the, the of gold, of Orange's wall, we've explored this, but this, Data is, uh, what's the word, outdated, because they have a wall now here. What we see as 
empty is actually not empty. Uh, actually, we do see here, but we, didn't, we don't notice that because I'm so focused on the next person now. I still have, so here now I move my people from stone uh, uh, to the front lines. So basically I'm trying to get them all across the front lines. I, I forgot about these two uh, spearmen, but see I'm making a fourth, because I know this one's very low, I should have repaired it maybe. But then they find the uh, sort of military production area, forward base of purple. Because purple, that's his main base. But what we don't realize is that this is actually all his military buildings. I don't think he has any military buildings, oh, a, a couple, in the in the main base. So this is actually a big hurt for them. And they don't really have an answer to uh, four rams. And like, uh, how many I have here? I have, I have 16, but plus six, I have about 22, 22 spearmen. Uh, so they need uh, archers to deal with the spearmen. Then, yeah, then uh, pink, pink, I think, is, uh, yeah, uh, Mickey Mouse? No. Uh, is uh, uh, gone? Oh, no, purple is gone. Agent X, yeah, Agent X is gone, so only orange is left. So it's basically, uh, the important thing is to keep the... So at this point, actually, it's weird, we thought he was here. Because I was, um, and what I was trying to do, uh, actually, uh, my middle brother uh, uh, told me to, get these down because I thought they were maybe here but we were already inside the walls so this is, is this what it means to have he has about five knights the same number as my bro as my as my green brother so even, even my green brother can uh, can destroy him um, well not destroy but trade equally and he's building a town center what I did not know that he was doing this He's trading with a... Look how well placed this market is! It's right at the edge of the map! We didn't even know he was trading! Yeah, what we should have done, and this is a note for myself, is to have more scouts with the uh, attacking army. At least two. Uh, or at least one. Uh, because here, yeah, I I start making more food. I'm. St I, this is not a good trade, but it's something better than nothing. Like, I barely defended, like, I, n I never got attacked. So here we see he has his forward barracks and such. Somebody destroyed his barracks? Oh, he's attacking from here. Whoa, nice. So that's my, uh, um, that's a blue HRE. That's my youngest brother. 34 men at arms. Yeah, from, from Vegasoap's perspective, it, it is scary. But that's where actually I think we will attack because we're... And we try to break through here to go through here versus going around. Because he's walling up here. I don't know what's, what kind of a wall is this, but basically we could have attacked from the south. Um, he has five knights. There's some rams. Oh, this... Yeah, this wolves always attacking the now traders. So you have to really clear out the path from... So I still have this ram. How much HP? Can you see the HP of that ram? Let me see. That ram... I don't think I can see how much HP it has. But it has very little HP. It's almost destroyed. Here... Oh, they was able to attack in. So he probably, yeah, he probably destroyed those five royal knights easy. And then he's... At this time, he's just making horsemen, just something to throw. Oh, no, no, the Fire Knights are still here. They're still in play. But as you can see, they have two-handed maces already, not even two-handed swords. So the base almost fully upgraded. And then there's a, whoa, nine knights from uh, from my middle brother. Even more knights. So he really boomed in conch. Wow. And then at this point, yeah, it's, it's done. So it's short and sweet, but it's a nice... Um, uh, show of a timing attack, and I really think that's a for beginner noobs like us, uh, it's a really uh, potent strategy for 4v4, or especially 3v3. Uh, 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 for 4v4, uh, basically, uh, you need Royal Knights, English, English uh, Longbowmen to protect them against archers, and uh, Abbasid or Mongols for early ram push. Uh, and 
And the fourth player, why HRE is so good, is because uh, whole, uh, the men at arms really counter any longbowmen who would try to attack uh, the spearmen and, and any um, uh, siege stuff like um, siege play, like what's it called? Uh, um, like uh, Lech uh, Lechnis and Nest of Bees, Spring Elves, Royal Knights are just gonna really mess that up. Um, and of course, so as an opposite player, what I need to do if the game goes long, and that's in the next one, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the latest one, uh, uh, what to do as an absent, you have to go siege yourself and get at least two to four Culverins to, uh, to try to snipe any of the sieges, particular cannons. Um, so that will be the next one. This one was pretty short and sweet. In the next one, uh, we try the same tactic, but actually we don't. We're not able to completely take that person out, and it's a good uh, a view of what to do, sort of uh, when you have to boom. Um, and then on the third one, I'll cover this defeat because we did boom pretty well, but then uh, I was the weakest link. I, I got, I, I was Delhi, and I got, I, I got really decimated uh, uh, because they attacked me first. Uh, so. Here I could have I could have improved uh, uh, or something, but I'll cover this because I want to get some pointers of, of, of what I did wrong or not fast enough in my booming. But anyways, see you in the next one. Uh, it's around 48, 50 minutes. This one was short. I think it was under 40 minutes. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's under 30 minutes. I mean, uh, I think the recording is for 21 minutes. So yeah, it's basically within within. At a timing attack around 12 minute mark, I think, 12, 13, uh, it is a good time to attack. 15 or 20 is a little late, because by 16 minutes we basically were able to take out one person, then it's like a snowballing effect. Uh, and by attacking, uh, uh, you that's how we ensure that our economies are pretty safe. We don't have to worry about walling our bases too much or building fortifications or uh, castles, we can just focus on offense, and that's what me and my bros are better at. All right, uh, over and out, let's uh, see the next uh, replay in the, in the next video.